most of the world thinks that China is the eastern seaboard, only just big cities. Doesn't know that these places like this exist here in China. I sang Chimalaya san. As far as my God is nature, and I'm sitting right here in my own church. From underwater to the top of the mountain, you feel like the mountain maybe let me climb, uh -huh. or the river let me pass. If nature wants to take you one way, she will. You're not in any way in control of nature. Now I guess my focus is more towards conservation. Photography is a really good way to bring attention to places, to affect change in places. part of nature and not as just something for us to exploit, something for us to take from, but something for us to enjoy, a place where we can find ourselves and find some happiness, find some
一平米，所以这是一平方米。是，呃，放在哪里？放在这里啊。好，好，要把它放进去。<笑>你看这些长得特别高，因为牛不吃。那通过这一平方米的研究，你能做出什么样的判断和描述？这个牧场健康情况非常好。看这儿还有牛斑。嗯。表示这里有牛红波，这离那边的牛红还是比较远，所以可能只是特别淘气的牛才有力气爬上来。<笑>这里也没有裸裸露的地方，要的这个植被很健康的。在这只是做了一个小小的实验，让大家明白哦，一平方米有多少植物，它们的环境是怎么样，它们生长的状态是怎么样。但让你平时做研究不会这么简单。平时是要练转水一百米，每五米要做一个一平方米的这个、嗯。要观察它多久才有意义？可能十年以后回来会有更明显。啊、哦，觉得好像你留在这里。香格里拉的很多的草甸，高山草甸上很多 babies， beautiful babies。是啊。那你不管走到哪，你都会都会牵挂他们。哎，他们长得怎么样了？嗯、那如果你十年之后回来看到他们变成裸地了，都被牛吃光了，被人挖光了，得哭了。Oh, <笑>希望他们越长越好。香格里拉不仅是人的香格里拉，也是花的香格里拉，嗯、是每座山。<笑>也是一只鸟，每只鸟的香格里拉，也是水莲花的香格里拉，也是你的香格里拉。那、啊、我们现在坐在这里，看过去，哎呦，看不到尽头。山连着山，山连着山，你的家在哪里啊？德克萨斯，<笑>好远。你会想家吗？嗯、偶尔会想。但是这里应该算是我的家。我离不开香格里拉。希望是大地每一平方的土地都不再孤单，都用花与花的笑脸相连。这朵盛放的雪莲花，把根埋在了滇西北的大山间，也埋在了香格里拉古镇的石像里。所以每一次出发都是回家And at least 2,000 of these are in China, so China has a big responsibility to save the snow leopard as a species. But the snow leopard is also a symbol of these beautiful mountains all over the China. No more snow leopards; the mountains seem empty. There's a. Let me see. I have no idea how fresh it is, but 
No, it still smells at least, so it's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Follow the droppings. <laughs> Follow the droppings. This will be done by a laboratory in Beijing. Okay. Got two samples. That was very lucky. I'll say the snow leopard is right there. I look and look and look and see nothing. Then the snow leopard suddenly moves. Hey, there it is. I couldn't see it. He saw you. <laughs> He's been watching me a long time. If we change to another angle, I think you are the perfect one to give a definition of the word human being. <laughs> What's that man in this beautiful planet? I'm always happy to be a missionary for ecology and wildlife. Hey, you are the missionary of the animals and ecology. And as the spokesman, would you please, on behalf of them, to say something to the human beings. All living beings, all plants and animals, we're all interrelated, including the humans. We all depend on each other. We move one, we don't know the consequences. So, as a result, we need to show respect, compassion, even love toward all living beings and try to make sure that they continue to exist on this beautiful earth. And this is not just the job of naturalists or government officials, it's the job of everyone. Everybody must be involved to protect our future. Instead of working so hard to earn money and spend the money on some animal first and to pay a trip and go to the wild and see them and enjoy the friendship with them. That's absolutely right. <laughs> 生长在这片土地上的万物，从宇宙洪荒的时代一同走来，而历经几个世纪的辗转，却是人类远离了自然，让物种回归，与万物共生。人类情感的回归，会让这一切变得温暖。This is your lab. Yeah, that's my lab. Here we do our first testing of products. How can we eat something or drink something that would actually protect the rainforest? Drink we made out of it. Cheers. Almost better than red wine. This fruit comes from a small tree, and so we would need to plant more of these small trees. We would integrate them into our mountain forest. These trees then become house for the orchids. This is your baby. Yeah, that's my favorite baby. <laughs> Green baby. <laughs> yeah. This is the wild species. And you take out the pollen. Mm -hmm. Take it out. Ah! <laughs> now here's the plan. Put this back behind, mm -hmm. but there's a special place where it will stay inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's now, it. now both will make seeds. From pollination, mm -hmm. it takes one year to develop the seeds. Mm -hmm. The seeds then go to the tissue lab, which takes two years in the tissue lab. Mm -hmm. Then they come out, and they usually take four years before they flower like this for the. Four years to wait for the flowers yes. bloom. So it and takes how old seven is this years. One? This is seven years. Seven old. years old. It's dying out of old age. Orchids die because the trees they grow on get too old and ultimately die. Its branches fell down and broke, 
and the orchids on them. Even here little orchids sprout out from the old stem. This orchid is easy 100 years old. We need the orchids to grow on trees. We farm orchids. It means, in other words, we have to first to establish a forest. Six square kilometer from this corner all the way to that corner. That's enough work for a lifetime or two. And we do this for to bring the species back to where they belong to. 在版纳的雨林里，老马信奉的是天赋子权，每一个物种都有生长的权利。我只是与他一同经历了短暂的几个瞬间，却似乎忘到了他换回兰花生命的每一个七年。So it's fun to play with a kite, but isn't it more fun to see the real kites and real birds? Shouldn't we let them free? How many years? I thought it's really an old one. But my father had these, so I, oh, really? I got them from, from him. I think they're about 40 years old. But Always be with you? Yeah, they're very good. Shenongzhou is quite a special place, full of legends. Shenong came here, mm -hmm. discovered all these medicinal plants here, and that's rather what this place is famous for. Birds has played a unique role in the whole ecosystem called biodiversity. Yeah. So what, what do you want to name it? Messenger from the God. Maybe Shenong himself never know a word like biodiversity. No, I'm sure <laughs> not, but he was doing it in a big way. He was the first person to understand the value of biodiversity. I've become a bit of a bird guy. There's been a pattern of geographic labs. It's wonderful to come out into the wild again. I know I'm at home. And why is all this biodiversity important? Because it is the source of a lot of materials that we directly harvest. We also need to study animal behavior to understand an animal's needs. Can I say, through this little thing, you see the world, and you see how the world changed just in front of you. I do feel that in the young people I meet in China. Mm -hmm. Gives me hope. It takes me back a bit in my early days.
positive energy. Every time I come back to China, there is such a feeling of love. The planet I grew up on, very, very different to the one we have today. is all about. There are species that have been brought back from the brink of extinction. The world should know that. Later China should know that too. I will try to document them in the wild and try to use that to help motivate people to protect the forest, protect the habitat of uh, wildlife and the uh, rainforest. Every species of the 120 of it. And they would be able to flower and make their own seeds and spread naturally. We want to find a way to bring some of this beautiful nature back to around China and around the world. These people, since hundreds and hundreds or thousands of years ago, have a very strong connection with that natural heritage. The animals and the birds come back very quickly. Free as a bird. Sa 